A warm good morning to all of you. I, Dr. Robin Chopra, Assistant Professor in Department of Physiotherapy at RPIIT Institute of Medical Sciences, Village Bastada Karnal. I welcome you all in our YouTube channel that is RPIIT Academics. But before watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the bell icon. So let's start the topic. So today's topic is blood circulation pathway. So starting from the first that is the right ventricle which carries the deoxygenated blood and this right ventricles pump the blood through the pulmonary artery where the deoxygenated blood reaches to the lungs and this lungs helps in the exchange of the gases and ultimately converts the deoxygenated blood into the oxygenated blood. As the lungs have a special area that is the alveoli where the deoxygenated blood is converted into the oxygenated blood and from lungs it is carried out by the pulmonary vein which carries the oxygenated blood which is mainly done by the lungs with the help of the alveoli and this pulmonary vein carries the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium and ultimately reaches to the left atrium then it moves to the left ventricle from where it leaves the left ventricle and enters into the aorta as the aorta is the largest artery and after reaching the blood from the left ventricle to the aorta as the aorta give rises to the branches of the different arteries, arterioles and the capillaries which contains the oxygenated blood and this artery, arterioles and the capillaries after carrying the blood from the aorta reaches to the targeted tissues which requires the oxygen and the oxygen is consumed in the tissue and after the consumption of the oxygen in the tissue it ultimately reaches to the venules small veins and the vena cava and the blood present is the deoxygenated because it is already utilized by the tissues and after entering into the vena cava veins and the venules this oxygenated blood is directed shifted to the right atrium and this right atrium after carrying the deoxygenated blood further move the blood towards the right ventricle with the help of the walls and again this cycles continue and this is the way how a cyclic chain will occur which helps in the conversion of the deoxygenated blood into the oxygenated blood and in human body as there are double circulation occurs so these are the blood circulation pathway so guys hope so you all understand very well and for more information please stay tuned stay healthy happy till then take care goodbye farewell and please don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the bell icon till then take care